This is Motor Merc to Mission Control, initiating pre-flight check and requesting departure clearance. Jazz one I'm sorry, sir, request the kill. Five golf Mike, uh, actually a mid altitude descent me team one one thousand. Cleared for takeoff. Five army seven two zero one zero. What's up everybody, Motormerk here coming to you from beautiful Southern California. Got the sun coming down through the clouds. It's a nice day to be out for a ride. I'm just coming from the motorcycle shop uh, where I go to get all the work done on my bike. I gotta talk to this guy actually. See if it's cool with him if I mention his shop, maybe mention him by name because he does good work. Uh, I, you know, it's tough to find a shop that you trust sometimes and uh, this guy has uh, eh, pretty much earned my trust so anyways uh, I'm just coming from the shop because I got a new tire today and the reason I got a new tire is because the the one I had on the front before started coming apart in a really weird way I'll include a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about it's got these weird slices in the tread like right down the middle of the tread all the way around the tire it's like somebody just took a razor blade and just started making little cuts in it like 10 or 15 little cuts per inch all the way around the entire diameter of the tire diameter circumference of the tire so uh, I felt uncomfortable riding on it at once I noticed it so I took it to a shop near my girlfriend's house because that's where I was when I first noticed this sort of weird uh, I don't know what to call it. It's not a deformation. It's not like a, a wear pattern. It's like I don't know when I start anyway when I started to see the tire coming apart I took it right to the nearest shop and I said is this safe to ride on and the guy was like well I, It doesn't look that dangerous so you could probably ride on it But you should probably call Michelin or maybe replace it if you're uncomfortable with it so uh, I rode on it for another couple of days took it to uh, the shop that I all more commonly go to near my house or near my work actually and I asked him about it he said he'd never seen anything like it but he also didn't think it was unsafe to ride on but uh, he also recommended I get in touch with Michelin to see if maybe they could warranty it or if they knew what was going on or whatever so uh, to make a long story short it was a nightmare getting in touch with Michelin because you can't actually get into direct contact with their motorcycle tire department you can really only call their general customer service line and then they sort of leave a I don't know what to call it they, they file a ticket with the motorcycle department and then the motorcycle department has no direct line for you to contact so if they call you and you can't answer the phone then you have to call the general customer service line they file another ticket and blah blah blah, blah. so it took me like three or four weeks to actually just get in contact with the Michelin's motorcycle tire department but I did finally do it and I sent them uh, pictures and information of the tire and they said that even they had never seen this particular sort of issue before with the little cuts going around the tread like that so they did warranty the tire they're gonna send me uh, a refund for the cost of the new tire that I'm getting basically uh, I bought the tire through my guy and uh, Michelin is gonna look at the receipt and refund me based on what the guy charged me so that's fine and now I'm running a nice beautiful new Michelin Pilot Road 4 touring tire which uh, you know I, I really love the Michelin Pilot Road series of tires. Uh, the one that went bad, the tire that was defective, was not a Pilot Road. I forget what type it was. It was like the uh, the mid-range Michelin Sport tire. Not quite a race tire, but like, uh, a, I guess, a, a summer tire. could look it up and figure it out probably, but I don't care. I got that tire by accident and uh, was stuck with it. And it actually, I must say, that even that tire, before it started to come apart, was a spectacular tire. It felt absolutely like, I, I don't know how to describe it because I don't do a lot of performance riding, but it, like, it's what I imagine people are feeling when they say things like, I felt glued to the road, I felt planted, like everything I did, just, it just inspired confidence the way that tire felt. 
it was really nice. And actually, because of the type of riding that I do, even though that's like a sport summer tire that I had on the front, it lasted over 15,000 miles. I think it lasted about 16,000 miles, which is a, a hell of a long time for a sport tire to last. But it's because all my riding is on the freeway. You know, I do 80, 85, 90 mile trips with no stops between them. Pretty much the tire's just rolling with no acceleration, deceleration, or cornering. So yeah, I mean, even after 16,000 miles, the tire still had three millimeters of tread depth when we measured it, which is really good. I mean, that tire, if, if it hadn't started coming apart down the middle, that tire would have had another probably 16,000 miles on it, which is insane for a motorcycle tire. And actually, that's one of our theories uh, about why it started to come apart is because after that many miles, even though the tread wasn't wearing down, the rubber just, you know, it's been heated for so long, it's been through so, so, such many heat cycles that the oils are just sort of dried up and the tires are starting to crack. So that's one idea, but the fact that even Michelin said when they saw the pictures they'd never seen anything like that before kind of makes me feel like probably actually the tire was defective and I should have gotten more miles out of it. And they agreed and that's why they're giving me a discount. So it's a happy ending to the story.